What's up? What's up, Black Family? This is Super Mike. Hey, I want to talk about Jay Morrison, Tulsa Real Estate Fund, and the people who criticize the Tulsa Fund. I'm going to try to do this very quick. Um, on this point, I want to... There's a lot to talk about, but I'm not going to go through all points right on this video. But I want us to understand something. This this is number one a legal business it is a funded and financed business by black people it is an idea had by black people uh, we got got the white man to regulate us only because black folks need white folks to uh, verify so we can trust something I mean, you know, but the point is, you could come, I've listened to Jay Morrison's comments on many, you know, he was being attacked by the opposition uh, before the fun happened, during the fun, he, the fun survived the FBI investigation a Security Exchange Commission investigation and just because we have many people who don't like the character of the fund manager see this is not business this is you don't like the character of the fund manager okay that's fine but don't try to convince us that this is a scam and for you guys, it, it is totally, it's arrogant and it's short-sighted for you to de try to destroy a development, an uh, indigenous development in black America. I don't care if you like Jay Morrison or not. This is an indigenous black American development. We, we, since we have the right as black America, we have the right to use our culture and our history to weave that into our businesses. It's, it's totally appropriate for any black America business to use Black Wall Street, Tulsa, uh, Oklahoma, uh, Wilmington, Delaware, uh, Rosewood, it's totally appropriate for black Americans to use that, to, to weave that into our business, to honor those names. Some of y'all just so silly. I, I feel like y'all so silly. The, the Tulsa Fund is legal. It is not a scam. I'm invested in it, but it's harder. Y'all make it harder. I'm blaming the unreasonable critics I don't have a problem with the critics because I looked into stuff too but the unreasonable critics I'm going to blame you for creating that environment that makes it harder for the holdings of our of our uh, our, our, our fun to get to get play you know so the point is like I said you know y'all can Keep attacking your own fund, but at this point, if you look at, you got to judge Jay Morrison, who is a businessman. You look at a business, well, what is business? A financial business. Look at the finance industry. Think, who do you think of when you think of businessmen? Rich people come to mind. TD Ameritrade. Or you look at, um, Jeff Bezos, you look at uh, Bill Gates, I don't know, look at Warren Buffett. Do you think they have people that complained against them? Look at Walmart. These are business people. The rich people. The Wal Walton family. I'm just get, trying to give you some understanding of financial business. Bank of America, you know how many people are suing Bank of America on any given day? Wells Fargo, how many scams are they running at this current moment? I'm just trying to, I'm not saying that th this is what Jay should be doing, but 
you're telling me that he's a scammer when he's went through two federal investigations. There's no scam. I authorize. I. I'm the one. I'm one of the investors. I want that man to make any legal decision to create that fund to make that fund to be successful. He can loan the money to his other. I don't care. You're talking about conflicts of interest. He's not a politician. I don't give a damn. Whatever way he needs to make that thing successful, that's why he's he's an expert on money management. And this is what I want to get to. Black people. Right now, who manages the bulk of our money? I mean, and I'm not talking about just somebody working for a company managing our money is is the majority of black money managed by black owned and controlled entities how dangerous is that to the financial world even though it's just a small funds 12 12 percent what if a lot of other black folks got used to and putting their money in Instead of putting it in Vanguard or BlackRock or Bank of America to invest, what if we start? What if we had a Tulsa Treff Fund? What if we had, you know, Boyce Watkins uh, Equity Fund? What if we had, you know, somebody else's, you know, Barack Obama's? I don't know. Whoever the hell y'all like. Uh, what's the dude's name? Robert Smith, Oprah Winfrey. How come they don't start a fund? If y'all don't like Jay, how come you don't have Magic Johnson? How come Magic Johnson don't start a fund for y'all to it, for black controlled investing? You see what I'm saying? Don't try to tear shit down. I don't want nobody tearing my little house down just because it's rickety. This is my little house right now. This is all I got right now. I'm going to try to keep this damn house together. And then when we can find a better house, we're going to build a better house and we'll move out of this house. And then you can tear it down. But right now, this needs to be encouraged. If you, you're you telling me, I don't, I don't, to me, any criticism that the end, the end of your solution is to you saying that Tulsa Fund doesn't need to exist. Hell no, I cut you right off. You are a fucking enemy. You're an enemy. If you're saying Tulsa should not exist is your solution, you are the enemy. If you're criticizing for this or that, Jay's is okay. You can sue him. I don't care if Jay gets sued. Sue him. Do whatever you got to do. And, uh, you know, that's fine. But we need to save the fund. We need to save the fund. So I want more funds to happen since, you know, y'all hate Jay. That's fine. Let's get us some more people, some smart people. I, we need more black-owned money managers. If he was running the chicken joint across the street or the, uh, or trying to, you know, open up a, a tree planting service or some bullshit or, or juice making you know, it's okay for us to have these mom and pop businesses, but when we start getting into the level where we're managing our own money, all those trillions of dollars that come through black folks' hands every year, who's managing that money? Who's lending that money? You see, this is a this is dangerous, and I truly believe that the source of this. I mean, some of y'all don't believe that these people would send spies in and try to disrupt your businesses and your key businesses but that's what's going on so i truly truly believe that some of the source now it's not all of it because a lot of it's genuine it's just due to jay and just because he has that type of personality that he has but he's the only one that stepped up so y'all blaming his personality because he's flamboyant and stuff like that and he's you know, he's not a traditional business guy. He doesn't have the PhDs and shit like that. But y'all didn't step up. Y'all didn't do this. This is what he did. 
you know, it's our, it, it's a stain on our community. It's a, the, the future generations will curse y'all niggas out if y'all are the ones looked at as destroying a development in its developing stage. The fund is only two years old under constant scrutiny. Constant scrutiny. You guys misstated that he was a scammer. He was doing something illegal. That was proven wrong and you won't make you won't admit that at least I, I was wrong on that. Just admit that at least, okay, maybe I was wrong on that, but I still hate Jay. You know, y'all won't do that. So anyway, that's all I got to say. Peace.